Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with MusicTeacher.com and in this video we're going to be looking at the riff from the Led Zeppelin track Heartbreaker. For the tones today I'm using my Stanford Crossroad Marquee which is a Les Paul style guitar. I'm using the bridge humbucker for this tone and plugged into the Black Star Silverline Special. This is on the Super Crunch channel. I've got a very British kind of sound dialed in so lots of mids. I've actually got the mids up on 10 and the ISF fully over to the British side. I'm using the KT88 response for this as well to dial in that classic 60s and 70s British crunch sound. So here is the riff in full and then we'll break it down. <laughs> So this is a really simple classic rock riff based entirely on the low E, A and D strings. So we're actually starting off with this bend on the third fret of the low E. This is actually before the main riff kicks in, it just sets the pace for the song. On the record that bend is held for a two beat measure but if you watch any live footage of this Jimmy Page would hold that for a much longer period of time so really you can just kind of feel that out. Then there's going to be one repeat of the main riff before the drums kick in so we're going to do the riff once then we're going to do it for a further four repeats where there's going to be a little change in the middle as well. So here's the riff that we're going to be starting with. So after that bend we're coming to the A string <laughs> playing the open and three. Then on the D there's this little chromatic walk up, open one and two. Then I'm hitting that third fret on the low E again, this time with a quarter tone bend. Then we repeat the same riff, but we play the open A four times at the start instead of once. So here's both parts of that together. So that forms the basis of the main riff. So like I said, we're gonna play that once before the drums kick in. Then at that point, the drums would start and we would then play that for a further two repeats. Then we have this little movement then where we modulate the entire riff up a full tone. So instead of playing open and three on the A string, I'm now playing two and five. And now my chromatic walk here is two, three, and four on the D string. And then my little bend that was previously on my third fret is now on my fifth. Now you can approach this a few different ways. You can play the chromatic run with your first, second and third fingers and use your fourth finger for the bend or you can do it the way I've done it there which is to play the chromatic run with your first finger then your middle finger. So I'm doing two notes there with one finger which then frees up my third finger for the bend. That then repeats in the same way where you play the first note four times. Then we shift back to the open. And then that enters the verse. So here is that entire thing in full slowly.
once more at full speed. <laughs> So there you go, there is the opening riff for the Led Zeppelin track, Heartbreaker. I hope you guys have enjoyed learning that classic riff. Let us know down below in the comments if there are any other classic riffs you'd like to see us break down in these videos. And don't forget to check out the Black Star Amplification YouTube channel for more videos just like this where we break down a bunch of other cool classic riffs and there's a bunch of other free guitar lesson based content on there as well. And if you're looking for a music teacher in your local area, check out the Music Teacher database at musicteacher.com. It's a great network of teachers all around the UK waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.